We use different machines to make our work easier. A simple machine is any object or device that helps to make our work easier. A lever, an inclined plane, a wedge, a pulley, and a wheel are all examples of simple machines. A simple machine does not reduce the amount of work but enables us to do our work more easily. Do you know that we use these machines in our daily lives? Do you want to know how? Let's explore the systems that use a combination of these machines. Have you ever seen a crane near a construction site? A crane can lift heavy loads. It can transport loads from one place to the other. Cranes come in different shapes and sizes with different load lifting abilities. But how do they do this? What system do they use? A crane has a system of fixed pulleys and movable pulleys. A rope passes over these pulleys. A load is attached to the movable pulley and is lifted when force is applied to the other end of the rope. Is there any other system that you can identify in this crane? Gear system. Very good. In addition to the pulley system, a crane also has a gear system. The gear system provides a large force required to rotate the wheel of the fixed pulley. What other things around you use a combination of simple machines? Have you ever wondered how your bicycle moves? Of course, with the wheels. But how does the system help to speed up your bicycle? In a bicycle, moving an axle through a smaller distance results in a larger distance covered by the wheel. What is the name of the machine where the pedals are attached? The pedals are attached to a driver gear. The follower gear is attached to the axle of the rear wheel. The follower gear is driven by the driver gear with the help of a chain passing over both the gears. What is the other place in the bicycle? that makes use of a wheel and axle. The steering of a bicycle is an example of a wheel attached to an axle that controls the direction of the bicycle. Can you identify important systems that use a combination of machines in this room? A wind-up clock a wind-up clock works by using the potential energy stored in its spring. A wind-up clock has four gears. The driver gear is turned as the spring unwinds to rotate the hands. The first follower gear turns the second's hand. The second follower gear turns the minute's hand. The last follower gear turns the hour hand. Therefore, the gears are used to move the clock's hands. Another combination of machines is found in a hand drill. A hand drill can drill holes in wood, plastic and aluminium. It can drill holes using a bit with a sharp tip. The bit is fixed in its chuck. The chuck is further connected to a smaller follower gear and a bigger driver gear. The bit rotates as the gears rotate. Time for an exercise. In a hand drill, does the gear system have a low or high gear ratio? The gear ratio of this hand drill is low. This is because the driver gear is larger than the follower gear. The gear ratio is high when the driver gear is smaller than the follower gear. In this bicycle, can you tell how many times the rear wheel rotates when the driver gear completes one rotation? 2. Because the driver gear has twice as many teeth as the follower gear. Let's summarize. Different machines work together to increase the efficiency of a device. For example, a crane which has a combination of a pulley and gear system 
and a bicycle which uses gears and a wheel and axle. A handrail and a wind-up clock are good applications of gear systems.